Let's unpack this now with Fadel Abdul Ghani in Doha. He's the chairman and founder of the Syrian Network for Human Rights. Uh, great to have you on this program. When we hear some of these revelations, they are shocking, they are damning. But are you surprised at what's come out? Yes, indeed. And uh, actually, what is like shocked us that the ignorance of the, uh, the the international coalition of committing a proper investigation admit uh, the uh, violation that uh, they have been committed in Syria and Iraq since uh, 2014. And actually, we revealed that long time ago, as you know, Syria Network for Human Rights been following the casualties in Syria. Uh, and like uh, determine the perpetrators. So when the international coalition interfere in Syria, we start following the, their violation. Uh, in 2019, we did an investigation. We compare, we review actually all of the uh, reports coming out of the coalition and compare what we archived. And we find out a shocked actually uh, fact, as the report said, that like they admit only 1,000, about 315 civilians being killed and in Syria and Iraq. Comparing what we recorded, which is above than 3,039 civilians being killed, so that we are talking about just 40 percent from the total casualties just in Syria, they admit in Syria and Iraq. And also, by other hand, that lead us to the second point. Okay, they are, they did uh, uh, like uh, an investigation. Then wh whom being held accountable? We didn't hear anything about accountability in interior accountability after mm -hmm. those investigations. The third point, which is also lead to us, based on their investigation, we always request a wider investigation. But like, let's, let's, let's move ahead with their own investigation. Where is the reparation of, uh, to, to the victims, the compensation, actually, uh, process which is uh, still not yet started? This is a huge question, actually. ISIS has been defeated more than two years ago. And those, like, relevant of the victims, the rebuilding, the construction, and of the, mm -hmm. like, uh, the, the building which is destroyed by the, by the coalition themselves, why not still started yet? Actually, because, the, the, because there is no uh, civilians gover governed there, the, only the PYD, the SDF, which does not represent, actually, the population there. In order to start this process, it needs an elected body, which is also the responsibility mm -hmm. of the coalition. So this is all one matter, actually. Okay, Fadal, let's talk a little bit about then accountability and reparation, because in order for there to be accountability, the U.S. actually has to admit that this is what happened. But what we've just seen come out in the last two days with regards to Afghanistan, for example, that deadly uh, strike as the Taliban took over uh, the capital, uh, no one's being held accountable for that. So how do you bring these uh, these countries uh, to the table to actually talk about that and to talk about uh, reparations, especially with Daesh, as you said, having been defeated for more than two years now. When we are like uh, uh, like we are talking now with the the level of the U the the U.S. Army, which they have a very strict rules in uh, the the army itself, which is like. Uh, 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 they are requested in, in their rule, which we review it, they requested that any violation being committed to be reported to the superior commander, which is Al Ba'us reveals it's not happened. There is like uh, lots of officers want to hide this actually. Then after that, who is like committed this, this uh, violation? should be, like, uh, um, held accountable. Also, we didn't see any officers being held accountable. There is no apologize for uh, the, the victims' admission, which is, like, all, all of those actually layer of accountability. None of those being ach achieved. And also, we are talking about, like, moral and also uh, uh, re reparation. None of those, I think, that actually a shameful point in this regard. They, they declare that, OK, a pride goal, defeating ISIS, fighting ISIS, which is like we admit uh, and acknowledge that they help, they serve this goal. But by other hand, they demolish this goal by actually those casualties and 
happened by actually repeated massacres. This is not the first one. This is because of uh, did this impact due to the New York Times, actually, the Commission of Inquiry, uh, the, the, uh, the uh, UN body, like, accused the coalition uh, many times in committing war crimes, massacres, Human Rights Watch also before, Amnesty International. Mm -hmm. In spite of all of that, uh, we, we saw that there is a repeated massacres took place and the repeated impunity, which is actually shameful. And that's what we discussed repeatedly, uh, 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 by other hand, with the, with the Pentagon many times. Okay. We requested wider investigation and start a process of reparation, which none of those been uh, achieved till now. Adil Abdul Ghani, we're going to have to leave it there. But uh, thank you so much for giving us your thoughts.